Okay, so I already lubed all my switches, but uh, basically what you want to watch out for these browns uh, when you're lubing or off the switches in general is this little section right here where it looks like a little rectangle area. You actually have to lube that too because the it's very, very close, so you'll get some of that scratchiness from there. So to lube it, you just take it apart. I started with the bottom, bottom housing, and you can actually see this corner right here, this corner right here. All these corners, this particular switch hits it, and it actually, if you take the brown part out, you'll actually see that in each of those corners, there's an extra bump. So that bump will add to the scratchiness. So what I did is you actually get the bottom, you start, you dab, and then you spread it until all the white loop goes away and it's just shiny. Then you wanna go around the stem uh, the, where the, the stem's gonna go in and then a little bit inside, make sure you don't have extra. Now with the browns, the funny thing is that you actually, let's see if I can get it right, where that little uh, spring is at, this spring, some of them came lubed. So most of the time, most people don't lube their tactile switches because then you'll lose the bump feeling and they'll feel more linear. Uh, for some reason, these came, uh, some of them had a lot of lube, some of them have didn't, didn't have any. So I ended up actually removing some of that on all my switches just because after I lubed them, they felt too smooth and they, they lost some of that resistance. I still had the bump, so I re 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 removed some of that and that gave me a little bit more extra resistance on the down. So once you lube this section, um, I grabbed this section and I actually ended up just dabbing here, here, and this, this corner is right here where the T-shape the is at and then you just go around and spread it and then you go on top right here. For the spring, uh, you can, uh, you just put a little dab here and a little dab at the other end. Um, you could, doesn't matter if you have a lot or little, um, it won't make a big difference because it's not going to be actually uh, creating any muddy effect if you put too much on it, so you don't worry about too much about that one. Now for this one, I actually ended up grabbing some tweezers and grabbing it from this end, and then I started by dabbing uh, one side, then the next side, and then you use that whatever you have to spread it all around, all around all three sides then what I ended up doing for here um, some of them this is actually where the bump is at where, where this particular brown switch ends up uh, hitting so what I ended up doing is um, removing that excess that I had and then just use the loop that I had and um, I didn't put any but I just removed whatever was there again because of that um, that tactile feel I wanted to get a little bit more extra and then of course you go around the stem here and then you put some on the stem. So then for uh, putting it back together, this is the tricky part where uh, some people are having issues losing that tactile feel. Well, it's kind of hard to get, but here there's a little spring that looks like a hook. So what you actually want to do is you grab your, 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 uh, your brown part, you grab the spring, and then you grab the bottom part and then you actually end up putting it together like this, right? Um, but before you press down, what you actually need to do, and what I ended up doing is grabbing one of these like cell phone things, and right before you close it, right before you close it, you go and you pull that tab out, then you press down. Now, if you grab a switch before you take it apart, you, sh you should see the little hook here. So remember, you, you have your two pieces, you put it back on, you grab any small object, and then right where that spring's in, you pull the hook out above, and then you press down. And now that little hook should be on top of the, the brown part. Now, the hard part about this is that when you put it back together, the top housing, you have to hold on to it. If you don't hold on to it, this will come out enough where the hook lands on the bottom of the spring, of, of the, the top housing and then you'll lose that the the bump, the tactile feel. So you have to hold on to it, and as you're holding on to it, you put the top housing without letting it come back up. And this is actually very tricky after doing like a hundred of these. And there you go, and now. And that's how, how you get this, the, this uh, lube, and you still have that tactile feel. The one thing you do have to be careful of is that when you're taking these apart, there's this part right here um, where the light goes. And when the light is blocked, it registers the key. 
So this actually comes out very easily when you're taking these apart and moving them. So as you're putting them back together, make sure that you're actually uh, putting this uh, uh, back in if it falls off. And there's actually a way to put it because it actually has a line on that little button thing. And that line has to be uh, parallel to like uh, this side and this side. And if you put it the other way, when you push down, it won't go up and down and it'll feel very mushy. And that's how you do it.